y'all get it? Alright, what can x not equal? Zero. X cannot equal zero. What can y not equal? Zero. Zero. Absolutely. Okay, if I have zero for either one of those, okay, it makes the bottom undefined. Alright, then you reduce. So I have a 3 over 21. What does that reduce to? 1 over negative 7. Okay, or I can have the negative on the top or the bottom. It really doesn't matter. Okay, just put it on one or the other. It doesn't matter. Okay, what about the x? And where's it going to go? Bottom. Okay, x to the first is on the bottom because I have a 2 minus 1, which is 1, but the larger exponent is on the bottom. Okay, we did this back in that other chapter. Then I have, what about the y? Y squared on top. Y squared on the top. Okay? Now you don't have to have that one there. You can have a negative on the top or the bottom, just as long as you have it on one of them. Okay? You all with me? Okay. Over here, what can c not equal? Negative 5. C cannot equal negative 5. Okay? Because that will be what would make that bottom 0. Okay? Then what you should have done is factored out the 2 on the bottom. So you have c plus 5. Now, notice those match. But I have to have an understood 1 on it. Okay? Otherwise, you're not going to know. You can't just write it like this. Okay? That doesn't exist. So you have to, because this actually, like x over x is equal to 1. 5 over 5 is equal to 1. So c plus 5 over c plus 5 is actually equal to 1. So that's why you have a 1 on the top. Okay, so this is simplified. It simplifies to one half. Okay? Make sense? Okay. Alright, continuing on. Um, this you did in that other section. Okay? Now, I've got multiplication between 9. So I can multiply straight across and then reduce it. If I can reduce it first, I'm allowed to do that, but I can't on this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply straight across and I'm going to get 6a squared bc squared. And on the bottom I'm going to get 40a cubed b squared and c. Okay? A, B, or C cannot equal zero. Okay? Um, sometimes they ask you for that, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they just want you to simplify it. Alright, so when I simplify it, what am I going to do? What about that number, 6 over 40? What does that simplify to? 3 over, Three over what? 20. 3 over 20. Okay, y'all, everybody with me. Okay? Everybody's being kind of quiet today. Okay, A squared and A cubed. What do I have? A is on the bottom. Okay. B on the bottom. Okay. C on top. Everybody understand? Okay, it's not hard. Um, now let's throw some division in there. Okay, division's not any harder. Okay, we just have to remember Nathan's phrase, the keep change flip. Okay, this stuff, it begins to look more and more complicated, but you have all the information that you need to be able to do the complicated part. All right, I've got division. What am I going to do? Keep change flip. I'm going to keep this one. And again, if you could reduce it first, do it. Okay? I'm going to change that to multiplication. The 5ab to the 4th is going to go on the top. The 2xy squared is going to go on the bottom. Now, you guys know that you can cross-reduce. Okay? If you don't want to cross-reduce, then you multiply straight across. But then you've got a big old long thing. So I would cross-reduce if I could. Um, let me change the color here. Okay, the 8 and the 2 is going to give me a 4 on the top, 
and a 1 on the bottom, right? The 5 and the 15 is going to give me a 1 on the top and a 3 on the bottom. Does everybody know what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just assuming that y'all remember this. Okay, the x cubed and the x, what's that going to give me? x squared. x squared, and it's going to be on the top, and I'm going to mark that out on the bottom. Okay, um, y and y squared. Y on the bottom. Okay, then I'm going to move this way. I have an A and an A squared. Nathan goes, I'm tired of answering. Somebody a else answers. A on the bottom. I have a B and a B to the fourth. What's that going to be, Ren? A B and a B two, B squared. Anybody disagree with that? Yeah, I disagree. Elena, what is it? B cubed on the top, because I have a 4 and a 1, okay? Is it always like what adds up? You it? subtract. Oh. You're subtracting, and then you're placing it That's where... That's what I'm confused. I was like, are we subtracting right. or are we divide? Yeah, because it's division, you you subtract the exponents, if you remember back to that other section, okay? Now I'm taking all the blue on the top and multiplying it together, so... And I'm going to put it in alphabetical order, so that's 4B cubed X squared on the top. On the bottom, I have a 3AY. And just make sure there's nothing else that you can reduce there when you're done. Okay? The higher one like this one. Right? The, it, Whatever the one's on, the higher one. Yes, you always put it where the higher exponent is. Subtract the smaller from the larger and place it where the higher exponent is. Are we done? Oh, yeah. Y'all remember doing this, right? Yeah, multiple times. It hadn't been that long ago that we did it the last time. All right. Um, what about something like this? You get this, right? Maybe I should give you one of those. Uh, okay. Let me give you this one to do, and then we'll go on to <coughs> the harder part. None of this is real hard, so you know, don't think that it's going to be. Um, well, I think I need to start calling on you guys because y'all are getting comfortable just letting somebody else answer. I want you to do this. Okay. Do that. Oh, no. I was going to say, I can't believe you're using your calculator on that, but that's okay. I'm not judging. I'm, just making sure. I'm not judging. I'm just making sure. time figuring out whether y'all that this is really easy for you or you don't understand it because the looks on y'all's faces today are just not helping me out. You know, I always write it like that, and then, like, you probably could have figured out here that those two go, but I didn't even see that until I multiplied across. And then once I saw it, then you go, oh, okay, those go, and it's just B. Everybody good with that? Yeah. Okay. Go one step further.
okay, so much. You have to go back. You look, these are not factors. Okay, I have pluses and minuses between there. I need them in factor form. So I need these parentheses that are multiplied together to get that. So I've got to factor these. I have to individually go down and factor each spot here, 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 and here, if I can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the two sets of parentheses. Okay? You're going to unfoil it. Okay, you remember how to unfoil it? This times this is going to equal that. Oh yeah. Okay, so that's going to be an x and an x. This times this is going to equal that. What would you think? Uh, four and two. Four and two is pretty good guess there. Okay, then I have to check to see whether it works. This. So that's going to be a two x. Mm. That's going to be a four x. I need it to be a positive, so that would need to be positive, and that would need to be negative. So this is plus, this is minus. Then I go back and make sure with the signs it still works for last, and it does. Okay, so that's my top one. Bottom one, two sets of parentheses. X, X, what do you think is going to go here and here? Positive three, positive. Absolutely, positive three and positive one. Okay, you with me? Now at this point, personally, I know I'm going to keep change flip, so I do it right here. So I go, this is going to go to the top. Is there anything that I can do right there to factor it? A three. I can factor out a three. So I have a three and I have an x plus one, right? Is there anything I can do that x minus two? No. Oops, that's a three. Now, if I were to ask you what can the x not equal, what would you tell me? Two. Y'all see that? Okay, if I set each one of these equal to zero and solve for it, that would give me the value that it can equal. So I know x minus 2 equals zero. Oh, if I solve for x, that gives me a 2. Because if I put a 2 in there, what do I have right there? Zero. And I can't have zero because zero times anything is going to give me zero. This, a negative 1, will make this parenthesis zero. And a negative 3 will make that parenthesis zero. Okay, does that make sense? <coughs> sometimes I ask for that, sometimes I don't. Okay, so if I go to simplify this. Now everything's multiplied. So now I have all factors. This times this times this times this. This times this times this. They're all factors. So now I can eliminate out or reduce down if I have the same factor on the top that I have on the bottom. So, what do I do? Uh, X plus one. What? X plus one. X plus 1, so here and here, that's equal to 1. And X minus 2. X minus 2 here and here is equal to 1. Is there anything else I can do? So my answer is 3 times X plus 4 over X plus 3. Okay? Now, that involves factoring. So if you're still struggling with factoring, that's gonna, it's going to trip you up a little bit. Okay? Can we program our calculators to factor for this? Um, not those calculators. There are calculators out there that will do it. Oh, the HP oh, Inspire will do Wait, it. Wait, can we buy them? You could buy them, but you're not allowed to use them on the SAT or the ACT. So what good does it do you? They're not going to touch the calculators to see, right? Yeah, you cannot watch. They, they will see what kind of calculator you have when you walk in. Just put it in the disguise. <laughs> put, put the they probably make you What do they look them? like? I'll, I'll bring one. I'll bring one and let you see it. Because that's what um, Dorman requires that for their AP calculus, I think. And so my daughter had it. So why are they banned? I don't know. I don't know why. I think it's the dumbest thing because you can't use it in college either. So I don't know why. I feel like Dorman got a kickback from the company or something. I don't know. It's like a computer. It's a mini computer. But it's a factor stuff for you to do everything. It stores notes. You can type in notes and stores them in files. Oh, that, that's probably why they banned it, because you could just I Yeah, it does too much, is what it is. Um, Something that makes life easier? No. <sighs> All right, try this one. No. All right. Let's ban something that will make, make life way easier for you. Well, and you cannot, you can't use it. Like, if you are an engineering student at Clemson, you can't use it. 
So I don't know why they ever allowed them to use it in high school. That was a lot of years ago. I'm hoping that they changed the way design. I don't like the letter Y. Why? I can't tell you why. You don't have factors yet, so you can't mark anything out. You gotta factor it first before you can mark anything out. Mm -hmm. No, I thought they just did make it a lot easier than this one. No, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. Look to see if they have anything in common. Okay, because that these are not trinomials; these are binomials. So you're going to look to see if you can factor out anything, and you're going to look to see if it's difference <coughs> of squares. Those are the two things you're going to look for. So what do I do if it is a different square? Oh wait, never. You remember? I think. If they ask you what y cannot equal, or what it's undefined for, it may be 0, negative 5, and positive 2. I don't think that's a problem. Okay, I think the problem is getting in the right thing. So that and that, oh no, wait, I better not, because that one's plus. Okay, so I have, on the top, I have a y plus 2 times a y minus 5, and on the bottom I have a y squared times a y minus 2, and that's all I can do. I think those are confusing because there's so many ones. There are, there are. And we want to look at it and go, oh, let me mark out some of these y's. Well, you can't, if you have to separate those two, you can't do it. Okay, the whole thing has to go. Does that make sense? So let's do another one. Ring. Your whole body has to go out the door, leave. Oh. Ne never come back. Buddy, you just licked that toy shop for that kid. <laughs> it that. tastes still on the back of my tongue. It tastes horrible. I don't know why you licked it. Worst decision I've ever made in my life. Let's have that with hands. Uh, it tastes like disease. Oh. Probably gonna get sick now. Those kids like talk over hands and then play the shit. I can almost guarantee that. That's, that's, that's the best thing they could have done. <laughs> I would probably put a thumb up on them. Listen, I've eaten before you guys before. All right. <laughs> Notice that this is multiplication, not division. So, so don't do keep change flip. Okay, you gotta factor everything. You gotta, and remember those good old days when you just have one of these and a problem to factor? Now you've got four in one problem. They did my test this stuff. No, 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 you gotta factor it first. They're trinomials. Break them into the two sets of parentheses. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. You, you, well, I don't have time. You always get. You already say all right, whatever, I'm halfway All right, I, I, I'll wait on you. Mm -hmm. 